Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So I got a little treat for myself today. I got a durian. I and it's a fresh durian. It's from Thailand. It's um, here in Montreal we can actually get fresh durian, not frozen durian, but like fresh off the plane pretty much. <laughs> and it, it is a big treat. It's a huge investment. I'd say a durian would cost as much as going to a restaurant having like three course meal so <laughs> but we had durian this morning in the park and it was fantastic and I just thought I'd share it with you so today what I want to actually talk about is but how the raw food diet has affected my life or changed my life and has it because I get a lot of emails of people asking me sort of you know about what happens when you get on a raw foods and why is it that things start changing a lot of people notice that that once they start sort of getting into natural health or taking more care of themselves that next thing you know it other parts of their life start changing as well and it's really exciting but it also can be a little bit you know uncomfortable and it could also just be kind of weird you know and a lot of people wonder like is it the raw foods that's creating these changes or is it something else and my view is is that when someone starts getting into raw foods they're always at a point where they're ready for change okay there's something in their life that is no longer satisfactory okay and, and suddenly Either they want to lose weight, or they want to feel healthy again, or they need more energy, or they want to reverse a chronic health condition, or they just feel sick and tired all the time, and one day they wake up and they're like, you know what, I hate it, I hate being in this situation, I hate being this fat, or I hate being this tired, I hate being this irritable, I hate being addicted to food. And so they one day wake up and they're like, I got to try something else because what I've been doing is not working and they get into raw foods and next thing you know it they're loving their new diet they feel so good they're losing the weight or they're getting healthier and next thing you know it other things start changing as well suddenly maybe they're not as happy with their job as they used to be maybe they're thinking about things that they were previously interested in doing but let go a long time ago. Old dreams start appearing and, and a lot of people may even start pursuing their old dreams you know, in, in, and decide to change their job. Or what happens for some people is that suddenly the relationship that they were in is no longer working. They're no longer feeling those same feelings that they had for their significant other. Or their friendships start changing. Suddenly they don't want to hang out with a certain group of friends anymore, but they want to make new friends. Or, you know, things start changing. And is it the raw food diet that's creating these changes? Well, my view is, is that it's not necessarily the diet that's making these changes. It's that it's more that you're just at a point where you start taking care of yourself. You're at a point where you start looking at your life and realizing that you're solely responsible for your happiness and for your health and for your well-being. That it, it's all yours. It's all in the palm of your hands. And what ends up happening is, is that you might get onto raw foods because you just wake up one day and realize that, that you know, you want to live a better life. And so by getting onto the raw foods, you, you get the ball rolling, okay? And, and suddenly, it's like you've added this like one drop of like you know self-respect into your life and suddenly that expands because the more good food you put into your life that means that you're taking action into respecting yourself loving yourself nourishing yourself looking out for yourself a lot of people go through their entire lives where they're doing the exact opposite they're destructing themselves they're disrespecting themselves they're not appreciating themselves they hate themselves and they do everything to sort of reflect that but the moment that you start doing things to actually take care of yourself your your that self-love and that self-respect is growing Okay, and it's doing it naturally. It's not something that you have to like mentally think about and, and you know like create. It's something that just organically happens. And so what ends up happening is is that once you get into that 
that rhythm or that path of taking care of yourself and honoring yourself and loving yourself and respecting yourself, then those things that you were doing previously that were sort of the opposite, that were maybe self-destructive or weren't necessarily really respecting yourself, you no longer want to do those things or you no longer want to be around people that represent that or that, you know, it, it's like it just no longer sort of fits. And so that's why people start seeing that, you know, the job that they once really liked or the job that they were once doing and, you know, to pay the bills, they, they no longer want to be doing it because they want to be doing more with their life. They want to be using their talents. They want to take the risks. They want to start living again. <laughs> and so this happens with the job. It happens a lot with relationships as well, that it's like suddenly, you know, the, the relationship that you were in and the things you were doing together, you know, it's no longer, it's no longer you, you know, and, and you want to do more and you want to do things that are supporting and value creating rather than things that, that could be destructive. So, you know, relationships change, friendships change, jobs change, even where someone's living can change. I mean, everything, their whole life can be just turned upside down. And a lot of times they're like, whoa, is, you know, did the raw food diet do this to me? And it's like, well, no, the raw food diet was just one of those things that you changed because you got to a point where you, you saw this like little glimmer of of self-respect, of, of, of hope, of wanting to cherish your life. And so you took those steps in order to do that. And then next thing you know it, the things that don't sort of match up with that, they're either going to disintegrate or they're going to need to change. And so that's why people go through big life changes. I myself went huge life change. Like, you know, three years ago when I came back from living in Australia and Bali for two years, I mean, I came back and like, you know, everything, my whole life was turned upside down and changed to the better. Even though it was, I'd say at that time, it was maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but I was at that point when I got off that plane and arrived in Canada, I was just like, things have got to change and they got to change now. And for me, I ended up changing, you know, my, my diet, right? I got into raw foods. I changed my career. I went from working as an artist. I made sculpture for a living for 10 years. And, you know, it was a very isolating career and profession. It was a difficult one. It was a gratifying one, but it was, it was a lot of stress and a lot of isolation that suddenly I needed to do something where it's connected with people, that I was of service of people, that I felt that what I was doing was creating value in a very tangible way. And next thing you know, I changed my career. I changed my relationships. I, my friendships changed as well. Everything, the people I'm surrounding myself with. You know, it, it's like I no longer had things in common with, with my friends that I used to go and party with, you know, and hang out the bars till odd hours of the night. You know, it's like suddenly I started making friends that, that had I had things in common with, that, you know, was creating more value in, in the friendships and what we were doing, everything. And so, yes, it's kind of crazy when you're in the middle of it where things are changing and things are evolving, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's your life and it's, you have to ask yourself, what kind of life do I want to live? And like, you know, how far do I want to take my life? And, and it's about living your life to the fullest so that you're happiest to the fullest because your happiness is it's, it's number one, you know, and it's a matter of the only time we're going to be happy is when we're living true to ourselves and and being true to yourself. It's different for each person. What for one person, what equals happiness or living a life where they really feel like they're living a life true to themselves is very different from another person. So it's about, you know, getting back to you. But if you find that you're at that point where you're just kind of like, sick and tired of being sick and tired, then it's time to make those changes, you know? And it's exciting, it's so exciting because you don't know what is gonna open up to you. You don't know how your world, your life, everything around you is gonna transform. 
And the main thing is, too, is that just know in your heart that it's only going to transform and evolve into something even better. So that's my little thing for today. <laughs> I wish you guys a fabulous weekend. And if anyone wants to try the raw food diet, we're starting the seven day raw food challenge on Monday. Go to my website at www.rawradianthealth.com, click on raw food challenge, sign up because you're going to get all the recipes, menu planner, shopping list, access to seven videos for the seven days and an online forum. Okay. And pretty much this whole program takes you through raw foods. So you can do 100% raw for one week, see what it's like, eat wonderful food, know how to, what to make, when to make it. Everything is all planned out. You don't even need to think so much about it. And you get to meet everyone else doing the challenge with you. I am on the online forum to answer questions. There's daily videos specifically made for the challenge that you get to watch every day to motivate you and also educate you. And you learn all about raw food and natural health and nutrition. So super fabulous. Go and sign up at www.rawradianthealth.com. Click on Raw Food Challenge. It starts this Monday, August 23rd. Have a fabulous weekend, everyone, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.